Ever since there's been school, there's been field trips. In my school, we've been subjected to places like the Sioux City Moth Hatchery, the AAA Ice Farm, and the International Creamed Corn Expo. Field trips are supposed to be educational, but one thing teachers don't get, the real education takes place on the way there. In one of these, it's more than a school bus. On long rides, it becomes a giant incubator filled with the churning psyches of 48 kids. Inside, a kind of chemical reaction takes place. People change. <laughs> friends become enemies. Enemies become friends. And a class trip becomes a journey into the darkest recesses of your own soul. Our journey begins with Mrs. Drapuzzi, who briefed us on our field trip to the Glurt County Milk Museum. Rule number two, no milking. One rule you must follow above all others. No one is to sing if you're happy and you know it. It's disturbing to bus driver Stewart. It was her usual warning, but she wasn't telling us the whole story. You see, Driver Stu Benedict and driver Sally Kenor had been in love. A love as rich and flowing as, well, their favorite song. If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, it was their song until one heart splattering day. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Sally, you didn't clap your hands. I'm not happy, Stu. Well, you can stamp your feet. I can tap my head, I can click my heels, I can wiggle my ears. It's over, Stu. We have to break up. We can knock our heads. No one knew what would happen if Stu heard that song again. And to tell you the truth, no one wanted to. All right, everybody on the bus. But that wasn't the real story that day either. Someone had given Ellen a secret love note. In it, he had promised to reveal his identity by sitting next to her on the trip. I know it shouldn't have bothered me. I mean, Ellen and I were just friends, but for some reason it chomped on my guts. Who had sent that note? It could have been anyone. Teddy, Yo, cut it Bill, out. Wendell Hyde, Endless Mike, my arch nemesis, even Mark Twibb. Ow! Thanks to his unusually flickable ears, Mark had been steadily twibbed since second grade. Once, his right ear went back and forth a record 79 times. Ow! Ow, 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 
Welcome aboard the Yellow Fever. I am your captain, driver Stu Benedict. Our, Our traveling, traveling time, time will be approximately 60 minutes. minutes. We will be cruising at a speed of 55 miles an hour, moving swiftly away from the twisted wreckage of my shattered life! school you see the same people every day nothing changes but on a long bus ride people reveal parts of themselves no one was meant to see case in point wendell hyde every trip we saw a new side of the shyest kid in the school this time it was his dream of singing at weddings and bar mitzvahs you put your left foot in you put your left foot out but Shut up! Della Sump had a different problem. For some reason, just being on a bus made her have to go to the bathroom more than humanly possible. Then there was Teddy. Famous for eating his entire lunch in the first five minutes of every trip, he developed a new system. I take small, uh, precise bites, and according to this flow chart, half a sandwich will last me till we get there. So I have the other half for lunch. As for Bill, whenever he was on a bus, it was like some practical joke hormone kicked in. This is going to be great. But of all the mutations that took place that day, mine was the weirdest. I really needed that seat. Oh, for your lover boy? Oh, how sweet. You're jealous. You wish. I wish you'd move. There was no turning back, for me or for the others. Some spent their time twibbing. Ow! Others had bigger fish to fry. Yes! <laughs> You don't understand. I am a bus driver. Yes! <laughs> I am king! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Great. If you wanted to be with Bill, why didn't you just sit with him? If you've got a problem, why don't you go talk to Stu? But Stu had his own problems. Even though his story checked out, the cops weren't sure he was fit to drive, so they gave him a series of grueling coordination tests. Put a crawler there! <laughs> Pete, what's gotten into you? Next, you're gonna want to flick Mark Twibb. Go ahead, there's no line. Yeah, what if I did? I wouldn't be surprised. This is your driver, Stu, with an update on our new onboard regulations. Passengers will refrain from killing my soul! Plus, a few other minor changes. I asked you really nicely. I wasn't going to flick anybody, and who died and made you bus sheriff? Passenger Pete, no arguing. Back of the bus, now. There was nothing I could do. Ellen was going to get the seat she wanted, and I was going to get the seat I deserved. Carrot head. I'm so looking forward to you and me sharing some quality time together. I see you're having a little trouble with your lady friend, huh? Hey, how's it going? Bill? I guess your pal's muscling in on your girlfriend. And finally, passengers will, um, uh, chip in for gas. If you have any further questions, please don't hesitate. Not to ask them. And we're off. We sure were. Blazing ahead full throttle into the worst trip of my life. The transformation was complete. Endless Mike was now my buddy. And my old buddy was oh. now a backstabber. I just figured you'd get bored of singing with Pete all the time. Maybe you're ready for something new? Finished. Finished? Are you certain? Couldn't there be some spot of condensation? 
Some dew, perhaps, floating inside your body? Thanks to Della's bladder, we were two hours behind schedule and driving further into the uncharted territory of our souls. This one goes out to Mark and Sue in the back, together for three weeks. Happy anniversary to you. Happy anniversary to you. Happy anniversary. Yeah! Ladies and gentlemen, our own Wendell Hyde. You can catch his act all next week in detention. Where am I? Two, three, eight, nine, five. Scan it, pause, hobios. I'm lost. I'm lost. I'm lost. I'm lost. Excuse me, I'm looking for I-87. Excuse me, I'm talking to you. Excuse me, former extremely unhelpful, but... Your straw. Want to experience something wild? Well, no, that's okay. Armpit powder, my own blend. I use a sodium benzoate base. Bill, I don't think this is gonna work. Does for me. No, no, I mean a note. You and me. What note? What note? What note? <laughs> now that Ellen knew the truth about Bill, she could get her revenge on me. So, what else you got? What a cruel, inconsiderate beast moving in on your girlfriend well she's a girl and she's a friend but she's not quite he's making a fool of you i'd say you got a bit of a problem pete but looky here i have the solution hot lather warmed exactly to body temperature cannot be felt by a human being and mentholated you know what that does to a popped zit? Yeah. Vengeance is mine, saith Pete. Um, thank you for your patience. Little turbulence. Everything's A-OK. -okay. Fine. It finally happened. My own dark side was bubbling to the surface. And you know, it felt great. Pete? Ellen? Bill? Is that a zit? Where? <laughs> Welcome to the club. Let's say we celebrate with a little bubbly wobbly. <laughs> Shall we? <laughs> oh. ah! He's coming! I'm exceedingly not pleased. I joined the service to help people, to do good for mankind. If you screw up one more time, back you go. Della! Della! I can't go with everyone thinking about me. Nobody think about Della. You, you're thinking about her. You just. Gust me. Way to go, Pete. Way to trash your friend. Oh, you mean lover boy? Bill wasn't... Bill's great. Want to know what's so great about Bill? He's, uh... He's... He knows how to have fun. Oh, yeah? Well, so does Endless Mike. 
I can't even understand why I've been hanging out with you. Well, then don't anymore. Fine by me. 35, 36, 37. Wendell. Wendell Hyde! This is your mom, it's for Mr. It's a time to sing. Mars will talk, you're finally on your way. 13 and it's a milestone. You are a man today. Hey, you read the Torah on your own. Hey, hippie hooray. This is your mom. We had all reached the point of no return. <laughs> Nothing could save us now. Hate myself. It's a time to celebrate. You passed the test, you made the grade. Whole lot of man, whole lot of man, whole lot of man. Eight, my friend, you're doing very, very well. I mean, you showed that corn dog creep, huh? But, uh, what about the woman who betrayed you? What's her name again? Ellen? Yeah. What would make Ellen really mad? Twib. One flick, and you're your own man. Perfect. Yes, it is. Who could resist? Those ears were calling to me. The fever was pounding in my head. I felt like a prehistoric hunter closing in for the kill. Closer. Closer. Ow! Ow, 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 ow. Pete. You? It's called Get Back on the Bus. All right, all right, youngsters. Now, With just one flick of my finger, I had sent Mark Twib over the edge. And as we got back on board, he was going to make sure none of us ever got off that bus again. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Mark, if no. you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Mark. If you're happy and you know who then you really want to show it? If you're happy and you know, clap your hands. Stop. If you're happy and you know, clap Somebody your hands. Stop. If you're happy and you know, clap your hands. It was the forbidden song, the anthem of Stu's love for Sally. We were doomed. If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, and you want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, knock your head. If you're happy and you know it, knock your head. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, knock your head. If you're happy and you know it, sneeze real hard. If you're happy and you know it, sneeze real hard. If you're happy and you know it, and you really still, want to show it. It's still. It's still. If you're happy and you We're know gonna it, crash. sneeze real hard. Oh, yeah. If you're it's happy fun. and you know no, it, you want to show it. Please. If you're happy, Stu, hit the brakes. But there was only one person who could snap Stu out of it. Avon, Avon, Aguila, Avon, Aguila, Avon, Aguila.
No one's. Just like that, it was over. We journeyed to the outer limits of our own souls and came out safely on the other side. Officers! One of you deliberately sang that song. Whoever you are, you're going to pay for the whole class. You will receive an F for the project. Poor Mark. And four weeks detention. I felt sick inside. My stupid twib had driven Mark to do it. Why should he take the blame? Who is the culprit? Speak up! Frankly, what are you, out of your mind? I did it. Once a dink, always a dink. You're out of my gang! I wouldn't have suspected this from you, Mr. Wrigley. You will have the pleasure of staying on the bus. The rest of you, inside! Why? I shouldn't have flicked you, Mark. You didn't deserve that. Sorry. I'm sorry, too. I... I shouldn't have sent that note to Alan. You sent the note? I guess it was wrong. I, I thought you guys were just friends. Well, we are. I mean, we were. I understand. You know, I think I'll just let you two figure that out, okay? Why'd you nail me, man? Sorry, Bill. Well, no hard feelings. That was brave. Standing up for Mark like that. I guess you both kind of went crazy back there. Yeah. Ellen, uh, all that stuff I said. I didn't mean it. Same here. Maybe on the way back we could sit together? How about now? There were no lectures or brochures, but Ellen and I had learned more about ourselves and each other than we'd ever learn about milk or moths or even creamed corn. Who knew what we'd learn on the way back? Cobwebs in the rain Making patterns as we walk down lover's lane Seems that each new step is somehow preordained I've not traveled this way before in the sky seem forever but we know by and by 